Hey there, Janelle Fowler here with EXP Realty over in Salmon, Idaho. And I am gonna give you a sneak peek at a new listing that just hit the market. It is at 311 Stevens Avenue. It is listed at 293,000. And it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. And let's take a look. Look at this cute house. Nice front yard, mature trees. It's got this great alleyway. They fit an RV, a trailer, and several vehicles in that alleyway. But let's go take a look at the house. Okay, inside the house right now, there's the front door. It's got this great entryway area with a full coat closet in there. And then opens up into a nice big living room. Look how big that is. Wood fireplace. Plenty of light coming in from the windows. Enough room in this living room. They had a large sectional in here. And then still enough room for a dining table over there in addition to it. Plus you have this great bar for the kitchen area. If you didn't want to do a dining table, if that wasn't your style, you'd still have that option. Now the kitchen was remodeled around, I think, 2019 time frame. New cabinets, new countertops, new appliances, and it looks great. Nice big sink. That door there, I opened it up, but you can see it goes out to the back deck in the backyard. Stainless steel dishwasher. Electric stove. French door fridge with a water dispenser. More cabinets and drawers over there. Through and off this kitchen area is the laundry room. That washer and dryer is included. And off to the left here is some added pantry space and storage. That fan up there is, you can turn it on and it sucks in the wood, the, the, the heat, sorry, from the wood stove down this hallway to the bedrooms. Now the wood stove is not the only heat. You do have down here with water heater, an electric forced air system. You got the thermostat there on the right. And so you do have that as your heating as well. Here is the full bathroom, vanity, nice big vanity. And it's a tub and shower combo. Nice clean shower, decent condition. This is one of the guest bedrooms. It is the smallest bedroom. It was previously used as an office. Be a great use of it. it. I believe it would fit a twin bed in here. Would be great for a nursery, twin bed. It does have a closet. This is the other guest bedroom. It opens up here in a little bit. They had a queen bed in here. So it will fit that. Also had an end table. You can see the dresser there and closet area. Sorry, I'm sniffling, it's cold out there today. Here is the master bedroom. Queen bed, I believe two end tables, so you might even be able to fit a king bed in here. Here's the closet, a little bit larger of a closet. And then it has an attached half bath. A little bit of storage room there, sink, toilet, 
toilet. We do have a little bit of room right there as well. So I don't know if you could take out some of this wall here, bring it out a couple feet and maybe put in one of those corner uh, showers to make it a full bathroom, but that is possibly an option. I'm gonna show you the view off the back deck. All right, great backyard. We've got mature apricot, a mature apple tree, and we've got a couple dwarf peach trees that were planted as well. Got four garden boxes back there. Like I say, the swing set isn't included, but look at this great deck. And the views off that deck of those mountains. The driveway of this is extra long. It comes from Stevens Avenue all the way through to the alley. As you can see there, all the way through to the alley back there. This shop is included. It is a two floor. So there's storage up above. And then in the bottom, you could do um, extra storage or add in uh, an office or workspace. There's power. You would have to put in some heat in here. But there is plenty of space in here. And there's windows, so it's bright. Lights right there. And you've got outlets for power. It's kind of a press board wood floor. But plenty of room to make this into something. There's a window that's boarded up there because they did do food storage in here. So they had them insulated to help with that. And then around the corner here on the alley side are some stairs. And this takes you up to the upper floor. And up here, I'm gonna pause you while I open this door. All right, so up here is just more storage. Again, it's got windows, it's got a light there in the middle. But plenty of storage, all those holiday decorations, you have nowhere to put, old kids clothes, heck, kayak, a raft, I don't know. Well, you probably wouldn't get a raft in through this door, but lots of options, okay? Get the idea. All right, here's a view from the alley. View of the backyard and the back of the house. There's the shop. Okay, and here is a view of the front of the house. Driveway. And what I missed on the MLS listing was this little side yard here. They had actually had this fenced off and had chickens over here. So you could easily do that for a dog area or uh, chickens or anything else because you kind of have this great side yard here. Um, wood storage even if you wanted, if you needed a cupboard, put something up there to cover it. But that's also a, a, an option. And then another thing that I need to mention is this does come with a fully automated sprinkler system. So lawn watering is easy there, flower beds, and yeah, just a great little house. Three bedroom, one and a half bath, up at 311 Stevens. Check it out on the MLS, and if you're interested, give me a call. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day and a fabulous Thanksgiving. Take care.